In this video, I'm going to take you through basic foundational yoga asins to practice at home and to start your journey towards this holistic healing approach from within. We're going to dive into some basic yoga poses that can be done by all, irrespective of age, gender, size. It's also very safe for pre- and postnatal moms as well. And it's going to guarantee good health for everyone. This is a follow-along video, so grab your mats and let's do this together. First pose is Tadasana or the Mountain Pose. For this, legs open to the hip distance apart, your feet well grounded to the mat. Open your hands out, belly drawing towards the spine. Relax the shoulders, neutralize your neck and look straight. This pose returns the body to anatomical neutral. It improves mental clarity and focus and it's also going to strengthen the muscles of your legs. Utkasana or the chair's pose. You're going to extend both your arms over the head, palms facing each other and sit on your glutes for a nice seated squat. Make sure the pressure is down to your heels and the gaze is forward as you engage the core. Keep breathing. Beautiful pose to strengthen your legs and to tone your thighs, your glutes and also to strengthen your core muscles. Vrikshasana or the tree pose. Place one of your foot on the side of your calf but not on your knee joint and take both your arms over your head, shoulders away from the ears, activate your core and try not to lean back. This involves a little bit of balance and take the time to switch sides. The steady stance of the pose improves strength on your legs, on your hip muscles if you have lower back pain and also it's going to improve your balance, focus and concentration. Next one is Utkata Konasana or the Goddess Pose. For this, engage your core as you spread your legs out wide, squat down, engaging your hips for an external rotation. Hands and Gyan Mudra, your index and thumb together pressing. Relax the shoulders and gaze forward. Make sure the knees are always above the ankles. And it's one of the best poses to strengthen your leg muscles, your core, your glutes. And you always feel fierce and strong when you do the goddess pose. Anjane Asana or the crescent lunge. One leg behind the other, bending both your legs, dropping the back knee down towards the ground. Extending both your arms over the head, palms facing each other and hold. And take the time to switch sides. Activate your core muscles, lengthening through your body and reaching high through your arms. And this pose is going to strengthen and stretch your legs, your knees to gain strength and to improve energy levels in your body. Virabhadrasana or the warrior two pose. Take your right leg facing to the right side of the room and the left leg facing straight. Lunge down to the right side. Tilt your body straight, chin up. Nice attitude here as you roll the shoulders. Open the arms out. Open all your fingers and gaze to the right side. Pulling your navel in towards your spine and putting your entire weight to the front leg. And take the time to switch. This time the toes of the right leg faces front and the toes of the left leg to the side. Open the arms out and gaze to the left side with your chin up. 
Warrior is one of the best strength poses, giving you energy, control and balance as you strengthen your total body from head to toe. Trikosana or the triangle pose. Let's do the left side first. I want you to hinge to the left side. Get your hands down to your calf muscle. Extend your right arm. Open out all your fingers and gaze up. Switch sides. This pose is going to tone your waist, your lateral obliques. Moving down to the mat for some seated asins. First one is going to be Pachi Motanasana or the forward fold. We're going in for an active back to start. Extend your legs out straight. Walk your hands to your legs. Maintaining a nice flat back with your chin up. Pulling your navel in towards your spine. And keep breathing with your mouth to strengthen your core muscles. And now let's go in for Pachi Motanasana forward fold. Dropping your head down to your legs. Keep breathing as you close your eyes, feeling the full stretch on your legs and your back. Matyandrasana or the seated spinal twist. You're going to take one leg over to the other leg which is extended out. Taking your hand behind, the elbow touches the bent leg. The gaze is behind you, so turn and look towards your shoulder and you'll be able to feel a beautiful stretch on your mid-back here. Switch to the other side. This is a great asana to improve posture, to fix any back issues or back pain. We're getting into pigeon pose variations. Extend one of your leg and pull the other into a groin. Slide the hand down to the extended leg and reach the other hand over your head and give yourself a nice lateral stretch. And moving on to pigeon, taking both your hands on the either side of your front bent leg and gazing forward with a nice straight back. Take the time to switch. The major benefit of this pose, it opens up your hips, your glute muscles, stretches and relaxes your thighs. And also it's going to stimulate abdominal organs and aids in digestion. Malasana or the garland pose. Feet flat on the ground. You're going to get into a deep yogi squat. Elbows pressed into your knees to open out the hips. Hands in prayer. Keep the chest open and soft gaze out in front. This is one of the most important poses to strengthen your legs, your knees, to open up for your hips, for women's health to cure any hormonal imbalances, infertility, and also it's great for back strengthening.
Marjorie Asana or the cow pose. You're going to arch the back and chin up as you soft gaze up to the ceiling. Make sure the back is fully arched as you flex the glute muscles of the butt out. Strengthens and stretches your torso, opens out for your chest, stimulating your abdominal organs. Bittilasana or the cat pose. We're going to do just the counter of the previous one. You're going to reach the spine up to the ceiling, rounding for your back and make sure the head is fully dropped down, chin drops down to the chest. And we're going to hold it here to strengthen your spine, your back muscles. Adho Mukha Svanasana or the downward facing dog, hands to the shoulder width apart, legs to the hip distance apart. You're going to reach your glutes up, press the heels down to the ground, but if you're not able to keep the heels down, you can follow the modified version as shown on the pop-up screen on top. But make sure you draw the navel in towards your spine and you keep pressing your upper body working down to your legs and drop the head down heavy. This asana strengthens and tones the body on the whole. The next asana is a restorative one. It is Balasana or the child's resting pose. Send your glutes down to your legs. Extend your arms right in front of you as you drop the forehead down to the mat if you can. Close your eyes and keep reaching your hands forward. One of the best poses to ease postural discomfort, back pain and to restore your body on the whole. Moving to the lying down position in the mat to continue our basic asins. We're going to start off with Setu Bandhasana or the pelvic bridge. Legs to the hip distance apart, hands by your side, reaching the top in a nice inclined position. You stay here engaging your core, keeping your chin away from the chest. One of the most important moves to strengthen your back muscles, your posterior chain, to improve flexibility and to tone your ab muscles. Uttan Padasana or the double leg lift. You're gonna lift both your legs up to the ceiling and your hands stay right next to your body. Try to lift your glutes up and make sure the legs are straightened out as much as you can. Draw the navel into a your spine and take nice long inhales and exhales as you feel the stretch right behind your legs. Beautiful to strengthen and to tone. Supta Baddha Konasin or the reclining butterfly pose. For this feet together, knees apart so that your legs are in a diamond shape. You're going to stay here inhaling and exhaling. The benefits of this pose is to strengthen your legs, your knees, to open up for your hip flexors, your inner thighs and also to strengthen your back muscles. Ananda Balasana or the happy baby pose. Get hold of your legs, open it wide. You will find a nice deep stretch on your inner thighs and legs. And this pose has numerous benefits to stretch out your hip muscles, to tone your back, your abdominal walls, your legs, to cure any imbalances in your body and to improve functions of your organs. And also it feels really good to just open up and stay here breathing.
Moving on to Garbhasana or the fetus child in the womb pose. If you're pregnant, please skip this pose. Bending the knees and curling yourselves up as you hold and breathe. This pose is proven to improve back strength, tones your abdominal muscles and also strengthens your legs and your lower back. And last but not the least asana is going to be Shavasana or the corpse pose. One of the most important poses to seal our practice on the mat today. Separate your legs. Let go of holding your legs straight so that your feet can fall open to either side. Your arms by your side, palms opened up. Let loose of the muscles of your body. Release any effort from holding your limbs in position. Relax your whole body and even your face. And one of the most common mistakes in Shavasana is an active mind. Cancel out any thoughts and begin to focus on your breathing here. Enjoy the stillness and silence as you spend this quiet time, bring full awareness to your breathing cycles. Grounding to the mat as you stay in Shavasana. And that's the end of this video for my beginner guide for holistic healing and I'll be creating more parts for the same content. Do follow along to empower you to make a conscious effort to a healthy and fulfilling life. Thank you so much for spending your time and energy on the mat today with me and until next time, Namaste.